Hello students, I am your 15 minute teacher. I will be teaching you mathematics for 15 minutes. Are you ready? The next mathematics lesson that I will explain to you for 15 minutes is Illustrating linear equation in two variables. An equation is said to be linear equation in two variables. If it is written in the general form of ax plus by plus c equals zero, where a, b and c are real numbers, and the coefficient of x and y, either a and b respectively, are not equal to zero. Or, it is written in the standard form of AX plus BY equals C Where A, B and C are real numbers A is the numerical coefficient of X B is the numerical coefficient of Y And C is the constant In linear equation in two variables There are conditions that we should follow First is, the degree should be 1. This is an example of linear equation. And this is not an example of linear equation. Because the degree is 2. Second is, variables should not part of the same term. 2xy equals 4 is not a linear equation because x and y is in the same term third is the variable should not appear in the denominator of a fraction such as this this equation is not a linear equation because the variable x appears in the denominator Fourth is, there should be two variables in an equation, such as this one, x plus y equals negative 4, and negative 2x plus 5y equals negative 7. Now in order to identify the values of a, b, and c, we should rewrite the equation into standard form. Let us take this an example. 2x equals 4y minus 4. Our goal here is to arrange the equation into standard form. As you can observe in standard form, the variables x and y are located in the left side of the equation. And the constant should be in the right side of the equation. So to transform the example 1 into standard, we need to transfer the 4y to the left side of the equation. We should apply the subtraction property of equality to do that. So we need to subtract 4y to the right side of the equation to eliminate the 4y. Since we are using the SPE, we will also subtract 4y to the left side of the equation. Then we need to simplify. 4y in the right side of the equation is already eliminated. So the new equation would be 2x minus 4y equals negative 4. And our equation is in the standard form already. We can now identify the values of a, b, and c. Our a is 2. Our b is negative 4. And our c is negative 4. Take note, we only identify the values of a, b, and c. We only need to get the numerical coefficient of the equation. Example number 2. y equals negative 4x plus 12. Our goal here is to arrange the equation into standard form. As you can observe in standard form, the variables x and y are located in the left side of the equation 
and the constant should be in the right side of the equation. So to transform the example number 2 to its standard form, we need to transfer the negative 4x to the left side of the equation. We should apply the addition property of equality to do that. So we need to add 4x to the right side of the equation to eliminate the negative 4x. Since we are using the AP, we will also add 4x to the left side of the equation. Then we need to simplify. Negative 4x in the right side of the equation is already eliminated. So the new equation would be y plus 4x equals 12. In the standard form, the term with the variable x should be in the leading term. So we will be arranging the equation. We can now identify the values of a, b, and c. Our a is 4. Our b is 1. And our c is 12. Take note. We only identify the numerical coefficient of the equation. Last example. x equals 2 times the quantity of y minus 2 quantity. Our goal here is to arrange the equation into standard form. As you can observe in standard form, the variables x and y are located in the left side of the equation and the constant should be in the right side of the equation. First, we need to simplify the equation by using distributive property. That would be x is equal to 2y minus 4. Now to transform this example into standard, we need to transfer the 2y to the left side of the equation. We should apply the subtraction property of equality to do that. So we need to subtract 2y to the right side of the equation to eliminate the 2y. Since we are using the SP, we will also subtract 2y to the left side of the equation. Then we need to simplify. 2y in the right side of the equation is already eliminated. So the new equation would be x minus 2y equals negative 4. We can now identify the values of a, b, and c. Our a is 1. Our b is negative 2. And our c is negative 4. Take note. We only identify the numerical coefficient of the equation. We need also to understand the concept of identifying the represented variables x and y in a problem. For example, Dom's bought four banana Q and three pineapple juice for their snacks. The total amount he paid to the cashier was 43 pesos. There are two possible answers in representing the variable. First is, if you let the variable X be represented by the banana Q, and the variable Y be represented by the pineapple juice, if you used these representations that would be 4 banana Q plus 3 pineapple juice is equal to 43. Since X is represented by a banana Q and Y is represented by pineapple juice, our equation would be 4X plus 3Y equals 43. The other possible representation is if you let the variable x be represented by the pineapple juice and the variable y be represented by the banana q if you used these representations that would be 3 pineapple juice plus 4 banana q is equal to 43 since x is represented by a pineapple juice and y is represented by banana q our equation would be 3x plus 4y equals 43. Now let us try example 2. Joanne spent 63 pesos for the amusement park tickets. There were two adults and four children. There are two possible answers in representing the variable. First is, 
if you let the variable x be represented by the adult and the variable y be represented by the children if you used these representations that would be 2 adults plus 4 children is equal to 630 since x is represented by an adult and y is represented by children our equation would be 2x plus 4y equals 630 the other possible representation is if you let the variable x be represented by the children and the variable y be represented by the adult if you used these representations that would be 4 children plus 2 adults is equal to 630 since x is represented by children and y is represented by an adult our equation would be 4x plus 2y equals 630 that's it we are done in illustrating linear equation in two variables i will leave an exercise for you to practice what we've learned See you in my next video.